Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and you know I'm wearing pink. In today's quick tutorial, I will be showing you how to establish your sublimation presets if you have an Epson um, EcoTank 2720 or 2760. I am not sure about the other versions of Epson. I'm not sure about the other models of the Epson printers, but I know these sublimation presets will work um, on those two models that I just explained to you. I am using a Windows 10 computer. I got this computer for my birthday from my fantastic husband. And my printer is an Epson EcoTank 2760. And um, without further ado, I will show you how to establish your sublimation presets so that you can get your designs printed as beautifully as this. And stay tuned for part two of this tutorial. I'll be, still be wearing this because I will show you how to use Easy Subly, the Caesar Easy Subly with a mask in order to put a design like this on a cotton t-shirt. So without, without further ado, let's head on over to Cricut Design Space and I'll show you how I set up my um, sublimation presets for my Epson 2760 printer. I am in Cricut Design Space and I am on the screen where I would normally go to get ready for print then cut. Since I'm setting up my Epson uh, 2760 for the first time on my new computer, I thought that I would go through and show you how to set up your sublimation settings and make a sublimation preset. Okay, so I'm on the cut screen and what I'll do is click continue. Okay, I'm connected to my Cricut Maker, but that doesn't matter because I could do the same thing on my Cricut Explorer Air 2. Okay, I'm gonna click send to printer. It are, My printer is connected, but my sublimation preset is not established on this computer yet. Okay, I always click uh, use system dialog because I want my settings to come up and I can make sure that my settings are correct. Okay, so I click use system dialog. I'm going to click print and you will see that my print options will come up. Okay, so now I see that my Epson, 20, Epson ET27 uh, 2760 series is selected. I will click preferences. Okay, and I don't have a preset created just yet. I'm going to show you how I set my sublimation preset on my previous computer. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is, um, the first thing I did on my other one is I have it as letter 8.5 by 11, and the paper type should be changed to Present, premium presentation paper mat because I always use the ASA paper and that is the setting that I have on mine for my um, sublimation preset. So I have my, I have the orientation is portrait, the paper type, premium presentation paper mat, quality should be changed to high for um, color. I left it as color. Two-sided printing is off. Um, Multi-page is off. I didn't click anything on settings right here. I'm doing one copy at a time. Reverse order is still checked, okay? So on the next page, for uh, the next thing I did was I clicked more options. So when you click more options, that is how you get into the color settings, okay? So, my output paper is the same as document size. My document size is eight and a half by 11. Um, for color correction, choose custom, okay? Um, and this is, if you're using a Windows 10 computer, this is not, these are not the settings if you're using a Mac. I don't, I don't have those set because I'm not using a Mac, okay? Click on um, advanced, okay? So if I click on advanced, the next box will pop up. Click on, and it'll give you the option to have it on fixed photo. Choose the one that says color controls, okay? When you choose color controls, the screen will look just like this. Your color mode should be Adobe RGB, okay? And then leave the gamma at 2.2. 
leave the color circle right where it is and I did not adjust any of these settings right here I left mine exactly like this okay so it should be color controls Adobe RGB gamma 2.2 color circle and all of these settings right here I just left them right there in the middle click OK okay the next thing is I didn't choose anything for image options I didn't choose anything for watermark features uncheck high speed because you don't want your sublimation print to be printed in high speed but you do want your image to be mirrored so um but not when you're using caesar easy subly but in in most cases you would want your mirror your image to be mirrored so then i would just click okay okay and then i would the next thing i did was I gave my sublimation preset a name. So you can call it whatever you want to call it. I, you can say, you know, your name. I can say Delanda's, um, I hope it'll take that apostrophe, sublimation setting. Uh, let me see if I, oh my gosh, I clicked out. Hold on one second. Let me go back to add or remove. Let's try that again. Delanda's sublimation preset okay and I like that I'm going to click save okay um, let me change this as sublimation preset mirror on I want to save that one as my sublimation preset mirror on okay and I'm going to close that now, I, I want to have one with the sublimation preset mirror off. Okay, so I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to go here and I'm going to I am going to let me see if it will allow me to reset it because I want to have one with a mirror off. Because when I'm using, um, let me just delete it. Do you really want to delete this setting? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to close that. And I'm going to do another one. And I'm going to go back. So this will help you because you'll be able to see it twice. All right, let me close it all out. Close this all out. Okay, let me just start it again. Okay, so I'm going to go back send to printer my printer is selected use system dialog click print okay when it comes up um, i'm going to choose preferences now i have the option to have my mirror image on i don't want to do that i want to create a new preset all right so i'm going to go to premium presentation paper mat stamp my quality is high all of this stays the same. Okay, portrait, premium presentation, two-sided printer, multi-page, all of that is the same, that is fine. Okay, and then over here, I'm gonna to go to custom, I'm gonna to go to advanced, color controls, Adobe RGB. I didn't change any of this, I kept it where it is. I unchecked high speed and I don't want the mirror image, okay? So I wanna save this as Delanda's sublimation preset, that's a long name, mirror off. Let me do caps, mirror off, okay? And I am going to save that. So I have a sublimation preset with my mirror on and I have a sublimation preset with my mirror off. Okay. And I am going to close it. All right. And so now, because with this um, image, I am going to use the Caesar easy subly. Um, that'll be actually the next tutorial that I show um, that will be published tomorrow. Um, but in this one, I wanted you to see how to create your presets. Okay. And I might even just, do it tonight it just depends on how much time it takes to do this first one all right so i'm going to use my mirror off setting i am going to click okay 
And that is the end of this tutorial. You follow me for part two, where you see how I print this design and how I um, put it on a t-shirt, on a cotton t-shirt. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thanks for watching. Bye.